so how to perform the soil bearing capacity uh, calculations here is a uh, uh, scientist terzaghi who presented the uh, the formula for the calculation of ultimate bearing capacity of the soil here is a uh, ultimate bearing capacity equal to sc c and c plus q and q plus s gamma 0.5 gamma b and gamma first of all sc and s gamma these are shear factors depending upon the type of the footing if there is a circular parameters are different if there is a square the parameters are different if there is a uh, rectangle footing the so parameters are different okay uh, for rectangle you will put the width and length of the footing you will get the sc and s gamma okay c c is the soil cohesion property means and uh, this will again come from the analysis from the laboratory uh, and the nc nq and n gamma are the factors presented by terzaghi here nc nq and n gamma they depend upon the phi friction angle what is friction angle let's take a simple example when you uh, place a sand on some place okay then you see the sand make an angle with the heap okay or with the a uh, with this okay here okay when you place a sand on this uh, on any surface on the earth then definitely sand make an angle uh, with the soil okay uh, after uh, uh, set, uh, settling with its self weight and then this angle is called phi okay phi in the cohesive soil means in the clay soil this factor may up to 0 and in the sandy soil this this factor have some values okay so nc nq and n gamma are the factors depending upon the phi and the, uh, these factors are given by terzaghi okay the next is q bar q bar is the our burden pressure that is i have already discussed in the previous example gamma is the unit weight of the soil b is the width of the soil so these are all the parameters given by terzaghi now i will show with an example here calculate the allowable bearing capacity of the soil okay these are the parameters given mean the depth of the foundation is 1 meter and under the foundation uh, after the 0.85 meter there is a ground water table and the footing dimension is 2.5 meter by 25 2.5 meter that is a square footing and the uh, cohesive property and the cohesion in the soil is that is 3 kN per meter cube phi friction angle that is 25 degree it means that is this soil is the mixture of clay and sand okay so cohesion is also present and friction angle is also present then the third is gamma is a unit weight of the soil that is 18.1 kN per meter cube now i will put the one by one the parameters <coughs> okay that is the formula given by terzaghi sc c and c plus q bar nq plus s gamma 0.5 gamma b and gamma sc and s gamma are these uh, shear factors so our footing is square okay so sc will be 1.3 s gamma will be 0.8 here and here okay then c is the cohesion property that the value is given 3 and now nc nq and n gamma value okay we will see according to 25 degree here against the 25 degree we will pick these three values okay uh, nc is 25.1 12.7 and 9.7 25.1 12.7 nq and n gamma is 9.7 okay now these parameters are clear now q is the gamma d okay gamma is the unit weight of this soil d is the depth of the foundation that is our burden pressure okay now 3 uh, is clear this parameter this parameter and this parameter is clear 18.1 is the soil density and the unit weight of the soil that is also clear one is the depth of the foundation that is 
here gamma d okay now plus 0.5 is a constant will come as it is gamma is the unit weight of the soil already know and b is the 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter square footing b is 2.5 meter so after putting all the values we get the q ultimate 503.33 kN per meter square then for the for the getting of safe bedding capacity or the allowable bedding capacity that is mentioned in this uh, question we divide the q ultimate with the factor of safety for this example i have chosen the factor of safety 3 okay uh, i have divided with 3 now the safe and the allowable bedding capacity is 167.7 kN per meter square or you can say 167.7 kpa okay you can also write in ton per square feet okay in the fps system so 1 ton per square feet is equal to 95 kpa so roughly approximately so the uh, you can use from the unit converter 167.7 kp is equal to 1.56 ton per square feet so this is the safe and allowable bedding capacity as mentioned in the question statement so that's all for today's lecture have a nice day